What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. Ancestors of the highest white light. What is the message? The High Priestess. I just saw the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck, too, in the reverse position. I don't know. So maybe somebody knows something's not moving forward. Let's see. I hope all of you are doing amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Yeah, somebody's walking away from a burden. Alright. What else, Spirit? You guys don't forget to use the coupon code YouTube20 for 20% off of your purchase in my Etsy shop too. The Emperor. Or maybe somebody's choosing work over a relationship or I don't know, somebody's bossing up, somebody's leaving a past relationship for something that is more at their level. What else, Spirit? Okay, I feel like somebody knows that they have options. Okay. Somebody's being emotionally cold and distant because they have more options, because they have a lot of options, and it's like you're like the high priestess here and the emperor here, and you're like, I'm not second best. I'm the one. All right? That's good. That's good news. Good job. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Five of swords in the reverse position. This motherfucker's not going to get a shit. All right? So you're stepping away. Let's see what signs we're dealing with here. The air at the bottom of the deck. None of the cards want to come out. <laughs> nobody wants, nobody wants us to know who the player is. What the hell? Come on. Come out, cards. Come out, come out, come out. Okay, we have one card here. We got Pisces. Okay. Cards. Come on. I feel like you want to come out. Okay, we've got air again, so like be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Earth, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Oh, that one just flew out. Oh, that one just flew out too. There we go. We got fire, so we got, you know, Leo, Aries, Sag, Gemini. Highly aspected. And we've got Aries, highly aspected, and Leo, highly aspected. Okay. Alright, so. Okay, we've got the Ace of Wands here in the reverse position, though. I'd like to clarify the Ace of Wands. Like, maybe somebody's coming back in with a gift, or maybe somebody gave you something that has an attachment to it. But here, this is the thing. If you're not attached to the gift, then the gift cannot be an attachment. You know what I mean? So just like, you know, practice some um, uh, non-attachment. Oh. There's something that you might have of somebody's that is creating some sort of a, uh, like an energetic tie with you to them, which is creating some astral travel interference with the two of wands in the reverse position. So if this is your reading, if, if, if then you, you might want to get rid of whatever that thing is. I don't know. Or bleach it or, I don't know, burn it throw it away in the trash, do whatever you want, you know, 
um, or just you know disassociate them from the item. I don't, I don't, I don't. Is that how you say it? Um, okay, Eight of Pentacles. I'd like to clarify the Eight of Pentacles, please. Ancestors of the Highest White Light. I have this song by Jay Z in my head. Big pimp and spend and G's. Yeah, so yeah, so somebody thinks that they're big pimping. Somebody thinks that they are pimping, and somebody thinks that they are keeping you attached by some sort of gift or something that they gave to you. Whatever. What else? Spirit ancestors of high sweet light. I feel like you kind of know this. I also feel like you are out of their league. This is kind of what I'm hearing. You, you're out of their league. They want to come back. They want to come back. Okay, of course they want to come back. You're out of their league. Uh, this is somebody who you were with. This is somebody who you broke up with. Obviously, we released a burden. But this was a love interest, okay? So we've got the lovers in the reverse position. in the reverse position. I wonder if somebody like got somebody pregnant. Just take what resonates you guys. And there was like a miscarriage or something like that and um, now they want to come back or something like that. I don't know. There may have been some karmic energy that they were dealing with. Um, so they went with this karmic um, because they were trying to be big pimping. And um, there may have even been some dark magic involved with regards to this karmic, uh, the karmic that they ended up with, just kind of working on them. Um, and they have a link to your energy, and honestly, the only reason that the karmic is attracted to them is because of your energy, is also what I'm hearing here. Okay. also be like a twin flame who um, like couldn't resist temptation so to speak okay just take what resonates you guys um, but either way it's like somebody's trying to create some stagnant energy in your life because they're jealous like the karmic is jealous okay um, it might have you kind of like caught in your head uh, with the Eight of Swords here. Um, Amethyst would be good for you. Chararite would be good for you as well. Those are highly protective. Uh, Black Tourmaline would also be very good for you. Also very, very protective, okay? What else, Spirit? Ancestor of the Highest White Light. Black Tourmaline is great too because it has a sort of a rubber band karma. Um, so whatever they wish upon you, it, it ends up going back to them tenfold. Uh, the star card here is, um, see, I feel like you're a light worker. You have this bright light that people are attracted to. And um, it's like this is the karmic can even feel you through this, this person, the person that you've released from this relationship. So it's like you're trying to get rid of it. I have a pain in my lower back now too. So somebody might need some carnelian for some sacral chakra healing. Um, and also I have some uh, sacral chakra cleansing kits, ritual kits in my uh, Etsy shop. You should check those out as well. And again, don't forget to use the coupon code YouTube20 for 20% off. Okay, this person has a lot of passion, and that is my nice way of saying that this person, I'm gonna, this, I think that this is a masculine because this is what I heard. This person listens to their dick. It's what I heard. Okay? So, um, but I feel like you, you're being guided out of this situation, and you're protected. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
So this person is just consumed with the 3D, all right? So you, you're out of their league. You're out of their league. Uh, and, and Spirit's offering you a, a, a new beginning, a brand new start. Um, I've got the Fool card here. A lot of Aries energy, the Hierophant. It's kind of like we've got like... This is the message I'm receiving. It's like, it's like you're the Hierophant. You're like the spiritual teacher. You're, you know, like you're, um, you're very, uh, I'm hearing like well-developed, um, and you're very like mindful and, um, uh, very, um, uh, what is the word? Conscious with regards to, to the things that you're, you're trying to manifest. And it's almost like this person is like, the fool card, like, not in the positive sense of, like, the fool card. The fool card, it's just, like, they just, like, it's, like, uh, I don't know, they're just an idiot. I don't know how else to say it, okay? Um, that's kind of just what I'm hearing. It's, like, you know, so it's, it's, like, um, I don't know, maybe somebody else, and they get themselves into a lot of trouble, okay? But they just kind of always want to come back to you, or they're always thinking about you because you kind of carry this light that helps to like get them, raise them out of this trouble, raise their frequency out of this trouble, so to speak. Okay, the Page of Wands, I feel like you're being divinely guided. You're receiving a lot of um, intuitive insights with regards to how to uh, ghost the situation, really, or, or just uh, like with your energy to um separate your energy what else spirit ancestor of the highest white light they, i feel like this person blames you for a lot that it's it's and it's not fair it's mostly just because they can't take accountability and this is also why they're so low frequency they're they should be having an awakening with you but they haven't and they won't they keep missing it um it's almost like this person tried to make you feel insecure Mm -hmm. It may have even been, like, there may have even been, like, a parent involved. Um, or it could even be, like, the karmic, uh, like a smear campaign, um, which kind of, like, manifested as uh, some, like, dark magic. What else? Spirit, ancestral, highest light, light. But you're glowing up. Um, this might also be why they're trying to come in. Um, but they're delusional. You've moved on. Like I, you're not. You're so over it. I feel like you. You know that they. Yeah. You've. You shut them out. Or you're shutting them out. Okay. You might be wondering like why the hell am I still feeling their energy? There might be some sort of an attachment that or something that they gave you that you want to get rid of. Um, or you know just in your mind just separate yourself from them I guess like they, it objects really shouldn't have any power over you um, they're only objects okay the only the only power that uh, objects have are the power that we give them okay um, and uh, a detox bath would be good for some of you and some carnelian and amethyst too I have uh, amethyst my uh, amethyst pendulum necklaces I just restocked in the shop too you guys check those out um, mm -hmm. justice, I feel like divine justice was called in, I feel like this person, you just, there were a lot of tower moments that, a lot of like, stops, uh, in your life that you were noticing, and, um, or something about, oh, karma's keeping them busy so that they can't think about you and so that they can't come in. Well, that's nice. Um, and we've got the Queen of Pentacles here. I feel like this is you. This is your energy, you know, male or female. You know, we've got the Emperor and we've got the Queen of Pentacles. But it's like you're, you're, you're sitting in abundance um, and you have abundance coming in. And it's like... 
them trying to, uh, the, this person and the karmic, we'll say if there's a karmic as well, okay, um, for, you know, this could be your story, this could be somebody else's story, little bits and pieces may resonate with you, little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else, but, um, it's like, uh, they, they kept trying to, like, tap in, um, as you were glowing up, and it was creating, uh, it was just making it more difficult for that awakening, so to speak, to happen, okay? And um, so so uh, uh, the universe stepped in and um, call, uh, your ancestors called in divine justice and were like, this is not going to happen anymore. Um, so they're busy with karma. So they can't fuck with you anymore. Yeah, we got the death card here. Okay. Three of Swords in reverse position. I don't feel like you're going to have any um, more hardships. Um, like if you've been noticing uh, like stalled progress, we've got the Six of Wands too. Like you're, Whatever happens, you're going to be successful, okay? The Chariot, yeah. You're, uh, you're being um, carried, carried forward. Um... My spirit. This, I love this card. It's so cute. Look at the little kitty cat. Look at the little kitty cat in the motorcycle sidecar. It's so cute. But this, this, uh, spirit's telling me to look at this, uh, card though also. And it's kind of like this way or that way. And that's kind of how, uh, this energy may have made you feel. It was like, normally I feel like you're the type of person who, like, you know where you want to go. You know what you want to do. But this energy actually made you feel like you had no idea. All right? So, uh, spirit kind of stepped in and, and is trying to help you. Is distracting the karmic, um, karmics, uh, while guiding you. Okay? Um, I feel like that's the reading. And, um, so, you know, you're protected. And um, crystal supports don't hurt either. So use uh, use the um, coupon code YouTube twenty for twenty percent off. I will leave a link to my shop in the description box below. Um, if you would like to make a donation to this channel too, I will leave my PayPal information down below, and or um, you know making a purchase for my shop also just helps. Um, and if you would like a personal reading, uh, feel free to text me six one six four eight five. 3479 and just text me your name and um and we can and I can explain everything and we can set that up. Okay, I hope that you are all doing really really amazing. I'm sending you lots of love. Thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. Bye guys.